What is up Swarm? Corey here with Honeyland and if I am glowing it is for good reason. I have so much good news to share with you guys today. Buckle up. So first off, we just got out of a five hour uh, quarterly planning session with our entire core team. Now I know for a lot of people this drains them. The last thing they're ready to do is get on a video like this with this much energy and excitement. But for me, it absolutely energizes me for two really, really cool reasons that I wanna share with you. Number one, we normally have five people at that meeting, our core leadership team. It's me, it's Apoorv, it's Brendan, it's Justin, and it's Katrina, who has made up our entire core leadership team for the last year and even beyond that with the co-founders. However, today we had a sixth person in that meeting and it was Hevel, our very own Hevel, um, which I am so incredibly delighted uh, to announce that he has joined our core team. Uh, he's gonna be running what we call the integrator role, which is something that I've kind of tried to do poorly for the last 12 months, running kind of this visionary CEO role while also trying to run this integrator kind of operations role. And um, through just his incredible hard work, diligent and essentially he gave us no choice other than to elevate him into this role and bring him onto the core team. He's going to be doing so much to support the core team as well as a lot of the other little team, not little teams, other huge teams that we have in place that are kind of started as community led teams that have become really full blown teams now with our user acquisition, our, our customer support, uh, our communications teams. He'll be taking on more of that and also becoming a huge part of our leadership team. So. Congratulations, Hevel, incredibly well-deserved. We'll have an AMA coming up next Thursday, October 12th, that we will have uh, a little bit more time to actually celebrate him, give him a little bit of a platform to share kind of what he wants to do in this role and uh, kind of his journey into that role through Honeyland. Well-deserved, congratulations, Hevel, sending you all the flowers in the world. I am so excited to have you as part of the leadership team. The second reason I am so excited about this is because Q4 is gonna be absolutely lit. Uh, one of the things that we really do on this is not only look back and make sure that we have alignment as a core leadership team and kind of where we're headed long-term, but we establish a very, very clear plan for the next 90 days. We do this every single quarter to make sure that we have clear focus over what we need to accomplish. And if we do everything that we've set out to do this quarter, Honeyland is going to absolutely change the Web3 gaming world forever. <coughs> with what we are working on and building towards today. I am so excited for what Q4 has in front of us. You guys should be too. It's a lot of things that are known and a lot of things that are gonna be coming together in a really real and significant manner. Uh, a lot of goals and targets that we have internally and um, a lot of things that will start to unfold to you over time as we have more development and progress towards them. Get excited, I'm excited. We have an incredible Q4 ahead of us and uh, really, really cool stuff on the roadmap. All right. Let's talk Breakpoint really quickly. Uh, Breakpoint is October 30th through November 4th. We will be there as a core team. Um, I know at least myself, Brendan, Apoor, Justin, and I believe Hevel is trying to get his way out there as well. Uh, we'll be out there. We're gonna be hosting an event uh, that will be, we don't have the exact day or details lined up. We're finalizing those right now. Um, a huge thank you to Jodine B, who has been instrumental in helping us to identify the location. She actually took a scouting trip out to Amsterdam I think probably to have a little bit of fun, but also to just go exploring and scouting really, really cool locations for us to have a really cool event. As you know, we're not looking to have a Magic Eden like massive party. We're also not looking for like an intimate dinner, something in between that feels a lot more like a reception with really, really cool people, cool friends, cool music, cool food, cool vibes, cool, all of that stuff around. Uh, if you are part of the Honeyland community, you are in, we will let you know as soon as we have that. If you are planning on being at Breakpoint, please tag uh, either Machete or tag Justin Bodick and uh, let them know. We have an Amsterdam channel in Discord. We wanna make sure that we get you uh, invited to that. So make sure you're in our Discord. Make sure that you tag us when you get in there. We'll invite you to the Amsterdam channel. That's where we'll have all of our comms. You'll find out where we're staying, um, what we're gonna be doing, what our schedules are, what the side events are, uh, everything about our event, et cetera, et cetera. So get in there. We also are locking down some of the things that we're gonna be bringing uh, to Amsterdam with us as part of kind of our activation for Honeyland. Uh, for both our event as well as kind of throughout the event. We have some really, really cool exclusive merch that we're gonna be doing. Uh, I'll clue you in. October 30th through November 4th covers and spans Halloween. Uh, and so we're gonna be going with some really cool uh, merch that is kind of like Halloween themed meets Honeyland. Uh, really, really cool stuff. Can't wait to show you guys as we get it in production. If you're gonna be in Amsterdam, you're gonna be blown away. You're gonna absolutely love this. And I have a feeling that similar to what we did with Solana Summerfest in Nashville, where we kind of took over with these honey hats and kind of dominated the Twitter timelines and everybody wanting to know how to get their hands on that. Uh, we'll do that with the honey hats again, but we've got some other cool stuff that we're gonna do also that I think we can really make a splash at Breakpoint. Should be a lot of fun. So if you're gonna be there, make sure you tag us so that we can get you in the Amsterdam channel. And then the final thing is I'm gonna be moderating a panel on October 
October 31st, all about Web3 Gaming. Some really, really cool panelists that'll have the um, the option, to, or not the option, the opportunity uh, to facilitate this panel should be one of the best, I promise to not disappoint, not only with the panelists, but with what I'll be able to bring uh, in terms of just running an awesome panel. Really, really excited about that. So October 31st, it's in the afternoon. Um, if you plan on going there, I'll give you more details um, as we get close. Um, Honeyland 2.0. So um, where are we at with that right now? We are testing it, testing it internally right now. Somebody asked in one of the channels like, hey, how's it coming? Like, what's it looking like? Here's the most honest and transparent uh, uh, kind of response that I can give you. The core mechanics are fundamentally incredible. They're sound. They're going to do everything that we need them to do. The onboarding experience was kind of an afterthought in the sense that I told my development team, get the core mechanics set and then we'll figure out what the onboarding experience, what the tutorial, all of that stuff, like how we train new users to interact with Honeyland, uh, we can do over time. We just need to get the core mechanics set. So core mechanics are set, they're being tested, but the user experience right now is um, is very wonky. And so we're taking another couple of days to just uh, really dial in that user experience. And then we will open it up to you guys to start testing as well, submitting feedback, letting us know where the bugs are, letting us know what makes sense and what doesn't make sense. And we are still on track, I believe, to have a mid-October launch that would be a public launch of Honeyland 2.0 to everybody just in time for Breakpoint so that we can start activating a ton of people into Honeyland with this new user onboarding experience. It's going to be really, really cool. Um, and it also has a ton of long-term benefits for the ecosystem. Um, it really makes kind of the free to play uh, this version where people can have a ton of fun and experience way more than they could in the current uh, version of kind of the free to play model with the Gen Z's, but also really uh, kind of limits what they can do in terms of extracting from the ecosystem so they can have all the fun that they can if they want to play. If they really want to start earning, they'll have to kind of make that bridge into more the NFT and kind of investing into the ecosystem a little bit more. So I think long-term it is far more sustainable, also allows for far more players to onboard and creates a much greater experience. So we are on track with that. Uh, this has been a long time coming. Um, you know, it's it's we're already about six weeks beyond what, what, what we are hoping for. Um, I think in the end, it will all be worth the wait. And again, will really allow us to hit these goals of what we want to accomplish in Q4, growing, onboarding tens of thousands of users, um, and every other part of the project, NFT market cap, the token market cap, all of these things that should start to fall in line. Um, the Hivemind OTC, um, we shared some uh, screenshots on our Twitter, kind of like a, a preview on our Twitter. We're getting close on this. I actually completely dropped the ball. I had a testable version that's been sitting in my inbox for like two weeks that I missed somehow. And so I reached out to be like, hey, where's the updates? Like what's going on? And they're like, we're just waiting for you to test boss. And I'm like, oh man. So I blew this. I literally backed this up by two weeks by just being a knucklehead. Uh, my bad, but it looks beautiful. We just need to move to the UI UX, make it kind of work uh, in high, inside of HiveMind. So I don't know if we're days or weeks away, but October, almost for certain, OTC gonna be really, really cool. The new safe way to be able to trade NFTs. And then eventually when we get the marketplace live, we'll figure out how, it's gonna be a whole nother layer to figure out how we do that inside of the marketplace in the game. But ideally the end goal is that we can have this entire OTC where you have the marketplace, but you also have this OTC escrow, very, very secure way to transact player to player, even outside of just the secondary player to player marketplace. Really, really cool stuff there. Stay tuned. I'll give you more information as I have it with the OTC um, trading um, uh, system. It'll all be done in HiveMind initially. Integrated brand experiences. As you guys know, we are working with a European League uh, professional basketball team. We expect November, we will have this fully integrated and activated inside of Honeyland. Some awesome new stuff. I'm not gonna spoil it for you right now. I will just tell you, we have some really, really cool things. This experience is going to be awesome. It's gonna have additional rewards for um, some kind of specific players that are able to like get into things. Think of like raffles. If you're a raffle winner, you get to benefit from that. And then some things that are global, things that we're really going to I believe take this European league basketball team and make it feel like our own. Make it like right now I live in Southern California. There's a lot of California sports teams that I just love. I love to see the energy and excitement when they win and when they play. We're gonna start to feel this on a global scale for a team, a European league basketball team sitting in Croatia. It's going to be really, really cool. I cannot wait to share more with you guys as we get closer to being able to launch. Expect November there. The reason I'm bringing this up though is because we have our second um, integrated brand experience partnership that we are working on right now. Um, this is a fortune, 
I don't know, 100 company. Uh, it's it's more than that. It's it's like closer to the top than, uh, it's closer to one, I believe, than 100, but it is a massive, massive global brand. A really, really cool activation that we're working on that would be an integrated brand experience inside of Honeyland with them as well. We're also targeting November. So we could have two really, really cool integrated brand experiences inside of Honeyland in November, bringing massive rewards to all of our players, bringing really cool brand um, integrations into Honeyland, some really, really cool stuff. Stay tuned on that. Again, I'll provide more details as I get there. Um, we've got a new Honeyland logo. Uh, we've been working on this for a long time. The, the Honeyland logo just never really felt right. We kind of had like that beehive one that was kind of like gamey, cartoony. Uh, but it just wasn't long-term, wasn't the thing that we were really proud of. Uh, we've always had kind of like the B, uh, like the hexagonal B uh, or, or the geometric B, we call it, um, which we love that. We'll still use that in certain things, but we've just never really had like a Honeyland logo that says Honeyland, that lets everybody know what it is. We went through dozens of different iterations of this logo. We now have settled on a logo. We should be launching it relatively, I don't want to say relatively soon, at some point on apparel and a lot of things. Uh, but this Honeyland 2.0 we see as our opportunity to unveil this new logo. I think you guys will love it for so many really, really cool reasons. Uh, but get uh, excited about a new Honeyland logo that will be live that you guys will fall in love with and it will become the brand and the face of Web3 Gaming moving forward uh, in a very, very short order. Uh, really excited about that. Let's see. Bumble Bash Tournament, we've talked about this, uh, that we have thought about doing like a live Bumble Bash Tournament. So uh, if you guys are using like emulators to slow down the play, and I don't know how you would slow down the play and have the patience to get to like, you know, 2,000, 5,000, 9,000 points. But if that's you, good on you. Uh, but we're gonna be doing this live now. So uh, we're gonna really test your skills. If you are one of the best Bumble Bash players in the world, we want you to show up. So here's what we're gonna be doing. Um, it's a, we're gonna have uh, registrations live from October 15th to October 21st. This will be done in Discord, so you'll need to be in our Discord if you'd like to participate. And then um, the tournament will be from October 22nd to October 28th. I'll have a lot more details for you. We'll have graphics, we'll have everything to share, but just kind of earmark those dates. Later this month, we'll be having a live Bumble Bash tournament. It's gonna be a bracket setup. And eventually this will be tournament one of multiple tournaments. And then we will have a tournament of champions to take all the champions from the different tournaments, put them together. And I think we've got land tickets and HXD and a bunch of really, really cool prizes um, that, that Honeyland will be sponsoring for the tournament, uh, for the, like the, turn, the, the champion, tournament of champions champion. Um, congratulations to Wolf1. Today he reached level 30 in XP, uh, which he is the first person uh, to get there. So congratulations, Wolf1. Um, what we decided we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make him start back from zero with no Bs and uh, see how quickly he can get there again. So congratulations, that's your prize. No, I'm kidding. Uh, this naturally begs the question, we have a lot of people at level 29, almost ready to get there. Uh, what happens next? I don't have a perfect answer for you right now, but I promise this is something that is being discussed actively, and we will continue to have ways that you guys can pro can progress and compete and um, work towards newer levels and achievements. Uh, this may be done on a universe by universe basis. It may be done on a more global basis. Uh, we may add additional levels or layers or things like that. So just understand we're working on this. You guys just got there way faster than we thought would be possible. Um, and so congratulations, kudos on you guys. You are the, the OGs, the dedicated ones. Uh, we love you and uh, Wolf. Congratulations on being the first to level 30 and uh, a couple people very, very close behind. Uh, I'll try and give a, 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 a congratulations or a shout out to everybody as you reach that. And then lastly, mark your calendars for uh, next Thursday, October 12th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. I'm gonna be doing my next office hours AMA. I believe Honeyland 2.0 uh, will be like to you guys to start testing by then. And so you'll be able to bring a bunch of questions, feedback, comments, it'll be a really cool thing. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna have a little bit of time to actually get to know Hevel a little bit better. I think a lot of you know him um, and have uh, communicated with him, interacted with him, needed him for certain things. Uh, he's just been an absolute saint and just a blessing to this community. I believe, fun fact, I believe, and many of you may not even know this, we sold platinum passes back in like March of 2022 um, as a way to like gain early access or whitelist. We sold them for $1,000 USD. We sold them on a website, on a Shopify website. It was kind of a, a thing that we were playing with. I think it worked out really well, uh, but we only sold 10 platinum passes, I believe. Uh, 10 or 15 platinum passes, I don't know. He was one of, if not the very first person to buy. 
Those platinum passes that were purchased ultimately became the diamond passes. So if you're wondering why there's a couple diamond passes, more platinum passes, uh, the other platinum passes were either won through raffles or different things like that. The diamond passes were the original ones that were purchased through our store. Hevel was one of those very, very first people. So um, has been here for a long, long time, has helped a lot of people. And then the last thing that we're gonna do on that AMA as well, or I don't know if it'll be last on the AMA, but the last thing I wanna talk about is, there were uh, 457 land tickets that were purchased in that seven day land ticket sale event that we did inside uh, the shop, inside Honeyland. I believe that's the first ever time that people have actually been able to mint an NFT inside of a game. Um, and, and this was a mint at the end of the day. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, call it what you want. This is the web two way that people are gonna mint. We're gonna sell things that are items, that are assets, digital assets, NFTs inside the game purchasable in HXD um, without having to sign a transaction that then shows up in your wallet so that you can custody it later. It's a really big innovation. There were 457 um, land tickets sold. Uh, there were probably about 150 people who participated in total. Some people ended up with more than one, uh, which is why you have 457 sold with about 150 people participating. Those were 8,888 HXD a piece. Um, and what we uh, decided that we were gonna do is 8,000 of that uh, would go to the treasury, that's the actual sale, that's like consider that sale price. Um, 800 of that would be uh, burned, and then uh, 88 of that would go into a raffle. And so 88 times 457, you guys can do the math, um, that's the amount of HXD that's going to be sitting in a raffle pool, and we'll pick one of those 457 land tickets that were sold. Whoever the uh, owner of that ticket is will win this, um, this uh, amount that is the raffle amount. We will do that live on uh, the office hours next Thursday. So mark your calendar for office hours Thursday at 10 a.m. next week. Guys, I told you there is so much to be excited about. These next three months are going to absolutely fly by. And I think that we're gonna look back and we're gonna go, holy shit, we did a ton over those last three months of 2023. Uh, watching a lot of things just come together where we've got ends that are close and we're gonna finally connect them, put bows on so many new things um, and really change Web3 gaming forever. Thank you guys for being a part of this ride. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today. I absolutely love you. Zub, zub.